are supposed to make of the astonishing run in the stock of Zebra Technology, ZBRA, which has doubled over the last 12 months. Okay, Zebra is what's known as an enterprise asset intelligence company. For a long time, this company was a play on specialty printers, radio frequency identification solutions. But when Zebra bought Motorola's enterprise business two and a half years ago, it became a major player in mobile computing, barcode and mobile printing, data capture, location, and, and motion management solutions, and cloud-based device management. In short, Zebra is now a technology company that helps other businesses improve their productivity, particularly retailers and also healthcare providers. Now, the stock has been kind of a roller coaster since the Motorola Enterprise deal. Zebra rallied up to $118 in the summer of 2015. Then it went to a tailspin, trading down to $46 last summer. Now it's worth back up to 99 bucks. So far, the stock is up, nine, up 16% year to date. So I got to know, can the latest upswing continue? Two days ago, Zebra reported a strong quarter. Seven cent earnings beat off a dollar 30 basis, much higher than expected revenue. Guys, was only a little better than anticipated. The stock barely budged. So could this be a sign that the story is just starting to play itself out, or is there a lot more ahead? Let's take a closer look with Anders Gustafsson. He is the CEO of Zebra Technologies. Learn more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Gustafsson, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank Good you. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Good now, to have you back. We have spent a lot of time today uh, talking about the problems of e-commerce Yep. and uh, how stores just they either get it or they don't. But what can Zebra do to help them be better? But, you know, retail, overall retail, e-commerce and brick and mortar retail is, is, has been a strong uh, vertical for us. You know, we have strong performance. And Q1 was very good for, for Zebra in that, in that space also. And today, you know, we've gone from historically being more of a productivity tool right. to now being much more essential for those companies to implement and execute on their strategies. So where would you save money or make it so that they can be broader? I mean, I know people have these strategies, for instance, where you call ahead and they bring it to your car. Yeah. I have to figure that Zebra's part of that whole management. Yeah, so for, for say for traditional e-commerce, you mm -hmm. know, we are essential in just how you run a fulfillment center or how you, how you operate that. If you go to a traditional brick and mortar retailer, you know, we can help them improve the inventory accuracy. Right. If you have better inventory accuracy, you get higher revenues. Less inventory, more revenues, better cash flow. And so we can help them very much transform to become an omni-channel company. Right. Right, that's yeah. what I was hoping. Now, yeah. you've got a, uh, a barcode reader here, but it's obviously a smartphone. This is not just something that's a wand. No, what this, does it do? This is our, uh, t one of our recent products. They call it TC56. This is something that's very well used in, in retail, in healthcare, and, you know, transportation logistics. There's an Omni, uh, sorry, it's an Android-based uh, mobile computer. Okay. Uh, so I use it as my device. Uh, it, it's more robust, has more features than I necessarily need, but it's, uh, it's fun to use. <laughs> now, uh, it, it, you can... Uh, uh, where, who, what worker would have that? Would it be someone in a warehouse, someone at, uh, on the floor of a factory, someone in retail? So, yeah, front of store retailer, uh, okay. you know, nurses in, in, in health care, uh, you know, a lot of transport, postal workers, uh, uh, parcel delivery people, mm -hmm. you know, lots of people like that. Now, when I'm in, at a hospital, I've always felt it was weird. You have to, they check it by yeah. hand, yeah. they see what medicines. It, why isn't everyone using this? Yeah, you would think that they would use it right? more, right? So I think this is coming. So this is becoming tell much me, more. Tell well, me where it is in the process. In, in, in healthcare, particularly, we're coming out with a healthcare version of this in June, so which will be you know specialized for some unique use cases they have. But uh, you know there will be you know do, being able to read barcodes on a patient or medications and all, all of that stuff, but also to do voice communications, messaging, you know alerts, uh, and do it securely. But one, one would eliminate people from getting. You, theoretically, you shouldn't be given the wrong medicine. If you have no, zebra. absolutely. My, I think bedside care is an important part right. of how we improve the, the quality of care to eliminate the, the risk of getting the wrong medication or the wrong dose or something. Okay. Now, what happened? You bought the symbol, which yeah. you paid great prices, then the stock got hit, and now it's coming all the way back. Was it just uh, just some jitters and trying to get the two organizations together? Because it was always a great story the moment yeah. you did the merger, but I, I got confused about what happened to the stock. <laughs> Yeah, we had, there was, you know, certainly went up uh, a lot quickly, and then right. we went down, so it probably shouldn't have gone up quite as fast as we did, we probably shouldn't have gone down all the way, as much as we did either. We, I think we're in a good place today. Uh, you know, we, we had, uh, we're now basically done with the integration. It's right. been a lot of work, but it's been very rewarding for us, and obviously from the, you know, our shareholders have been rewarded fairly well, I think, 50% yes. since then. Uh, our, our team, we have a great team that's done a tremendous, tremendous amount of work to, uh, to, uh, to get this integration done. But uh, we, we have, 
you know, we've been impro improving revenues, right. we've been improving margins, uh, we've really been paying good. down debt a lot, and uh, our customers and partners uh, have responded very well to the combination. Right. Well, one last question. Our president very much wants uh, manufacturing. Yeah. Your devices are used in manufacturing, yeah. used in warehouses. What's the temper of the time? Are we starting to get a little better manufacturing warehouses in the country? Yeah, I think that the, you know, manufacturing is very broad. There's right, lots of different right. types of manufacturing. So, if but you the look ones at, that are in your purview. Yeah, so I think what, uh, we see a lot of uh, investments in like the, the warehouse part of the manufacturing, right. the deliveries uh, from, from, the, from manufacturing. Lots of investments to make those as efficient as they can be. So that's, that's one part of manufacturing. And that's strong. Those. That's very strong. That's well, very strong. you know, I, look, I think yeah. you've got a great story. I yeah. think that people should go back to it because it's yeah. really terrific, especially if you've got this new healthcare yeah. machine. This is going to be a, a very hot <laughs> device. That's Anders Gustafsson, CEO of Zebra Technologies Corporation, a company we've liked for a long time because we knew Symbol, okay, and New Zebra beforehand. The combination is powerful. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.